I thought offensively, uh, Marina and, and Bree played extremely well. Uh, Enrique had a double double. I thought that was that was uh, really great to see her rebounding. Overall, just really disappointed with the defense on 33. She played very well, very well. She uh, shot the ball well, 24 points. I imagine that's her uh, career lifetime high and uh, we need to do a better job identifying who the shooter is and we did not do that so that's something we can continue to work on uh, defensively I think we just still have to get so much better offensively I thought the break was working well transition was good handled the press well did a lot of good things but defense is still uh, uh, kind of a sticking point with me so what had you so upset in the fourth quarter defense uh, probably um, I, I think there were some rebounds we could have gotten that we just we, we weren't um, aggressive to the ball. I thought there were some loose balls we just didn't go after. Uh, and uh, I think Kat's ankles still bothering her. I think that's why she wasn't able to track them down. Um, but I think just that awareness of where the ball is, I think we can do better. When you talk about the concept of killer instinct, where where are you guys right now? We have a, we have a couple people that have it. Uh, you know, I, I think um, not everybody yet. Uh, I think it's you know, I think the freshmen are really, they're just, they're still learning. Um, you know, I think there's a couple other people that, that can get a little bit more of a sense of urgency. Um, you know, that's what we're really working on. How do you, how do you get that to take that into the tournament? Yeah. You know, at practice, everything's competitive. Um, we're, we're really working more on you have to get it, you know, in this amount of time, and you have to get two in a row. And um, we're, we're really trying to stick with it to kind of force them to be competitive. And, uh, and I think it's helping, but we just, we've only been doing it for a week. So I think we need to, to stay with that. About 70% of your points came in pain. I don't have a statue in front of me, but... Uh, yeah, 58. 58. You know, I, I think just besides <coughs> Bree, I thought Marina driving the ball tonight, Enrique driving the ball. Um, we got a couple of, you know, offensive rebounds. And so I think, yeah, we're, we're, we're able to put the ball on the floor against a team like that. They put their shooters in, um, not their best defenders, so we were able to attack them off the dribble a little bit more. Marina, you, you missed your first two, and then I think you missed one the rest of the way. What, what kind of started clicking for you? Um, just stay with it, you know, the first two shots didn't go in, but Lindsay told me to keep shooting, so, and Coach said to drive, so, that's what I did. This was so different than the first meeting this year with them. Yeah. First was a defensive battle, this was an offensive battle, and uh, I like I like the defensive battle. You know, I'd like to, to hold them, um, but it was, it's great, obviously, to see us finally get a Big Mac at home. Whew. How much does it concern you that you're still trying to find that some, certain something on the defensive end as you start to like wind down the regular season? Yeah, I mean it's a lot of sleepless nights. You know, I, I'm 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 just I'm, I'm never satisfied, which can be good and bad. Uh, I think um, you know I just always think we can be better, and and I know we can be better. You know, we've we've played some good games, we've had some great moments, but I think to put 40 minutes together, uh, we've got a really short bench right now, and and I think that that's. That's been good. You know, we're, we're playing the starters a little bit longer. I think that that we should look like we can score 90 points every night. So I, I think there's some good things to it. Um, I think I just think that sense of urgency on defense is still lacking. Have you seen strides, or is it? Yeah, I, I mean, I think every game we see something, and we go, yeah, that, that's what we've been talking about. They're little things, and they're important things. And so I think we're getting better at those. So I, I definitely am seeing improvement. It's just. Um, you know, it's, it's not a glaring improvement. I think that's what we want to see. When uh, Georgia Tech was kind of threatening there a little bit throughout the game, Marina was able to kind of step in there and make some big shots. Just how reliable has she been in order to do that? She's been games? really consistent. Uh, I think from the start of league play, she's she's been very consistent along with Bree and Lindsay. I think those three have really, we've been able to count on them almost every every night for a certain amount of points. And, uh, and she's really stepped up. I think she's doing a great job shooting the ball. She's also getting assists and, and I think playing a, a, a smart game defensively. How oh, important oh. to have those rocks when you have freshmen that are yeah you have to, you have to be able to count on the people on the floor and then uh, you want to be able to lean on the upperclassmen and as a sophomore you know not really an upperclassman but I think she's been somebody we've been able to lean on O'Neal was averaging 20 points a game for the last three what did you guys do to down yeah, we, she was a key focus of our defense. Uh, she, she had 13 rebounds last game, uh, last time we played them. So we were trying to keep her off the glass. We were trying to bring the double team. I think she was ready for it. So we went back and forth with the double team, sometimes left her alone. Bree was able to do a good job on her, I think, trying to shoot over Bree. I think she got tired at the end of the game. Um, so I, I thought Bree did a, a really good job defensively on her. Did that help 33 get open a little bit more maybe? Because it shouldn't have, but it, it apparently 
did. If we're looking for excuses, there's a there's one, um, but we're not. So, yeah, I, I don't think that had anything to do with 33. Updated time frame on Michael's return. Well, we need our bed. I um, I think another week. Still another week. Was the start of the game a clerical error? Yeah, we we didn't have Bree in the starting lineup, <laughs> and uh, I you know what I I don't know how it, it was just. It's obviously just a mistake, but um, yeah, we're, we you know we're always going back and forth with Cat and Aaron, and uh, so we put them both in tonight. You know, so yeah, that was unfortunate, but didn't hurt us. And, but is Cat practicing again? She does not. No, she does not practice. Does that been like rest of the year? I hope not. She's going to get an, another MRI, but it's too soon to get another one. So um, you know, we're waiting to see. She still has a lot of pain. And then uh, Ellie. Ellie's got the flu. I, how long? She's been out, this is the third day, so I expect she'll be back um, by the next game. Is she the unluckiest player you've She ever? is absolutely the unluckiest player. <laughs> it's always Bree, something. Bree, what, what, can, what can you do, what can you do to help your teammates in terms of the defensive effort to, to get you guys to that next level? I'm just really being there, like guarding O'Neal and, and also just on the drives, if I can't block the other player's shots, just altering it and also just getting rebounds.